Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from the Black Wealth Boot Camp. Now we're about to start a new Black Wealth Boot Camp this morning. I'm about to meet with about 300 students. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, what I consider to be the most significant, the most important movement uh, of this century. Uh, that and mass, next to mass incarceration. Uh, and the movement is toward black economic independence. Uh, right now we are the black version of the Boston Tea Party, uh, meaning that we have taxation without representation. We are being mistreated without getting being given the opportunities we deserve. We've never been invited into the American family, but the fact of the matter is that you were never intended to really be invited into the American family. You were intended to serve the American family. Most families don't make the servants into relatives. It might, it, it might be a possibility, but it's very difficult to make that happen. And typically, um, acceptance comes with uh, an expectation of tremendous subjugation. Now, uh, what I wanted to talk to you about right now, really quick, was something that I hit on with some black entrepreneurs I was sitting with. I was eating dinner, and uh, there were about six of us. And uh, everybody at the table is independent. Nobody at the table gets up and goes to work every day on a job, on a nine to five. Uh, and we were talking, and, all, and, and it's not like, you know, these are rich people or old people. Uh, most of the people, at the, everybody at the table was younger than me, uh, maybe seven, eight years younger than me. And uh, one of the things that we talked about is uh, the power of freedom and the joy of freedom. And, uh, and you know, and one of, the, one of the guys said that his greatest nightmare is... Uh, having to go back to the corporate plantation he says you know man I work my butt off every day and he's very successful he's a young guy he makes hundreds of thousands of dollars a year with his business but he said you know he said man I, I have this fear honestly of going back to the corp having to go back to the plantation so I work my butt off to avoid having to go and I said brother there's no reason for you to have fear I said there's nothing for you to fear I said because uh, I listened to you talk earlier when you talked about how you built your business without needing, uh, without chasing after corporate sponsorships. See, a lot of black businesses get built like that. They just sort of get money from white people just in a different way. And not that there's anything wrong with taking the white money, but you can't depend on that money because unfortunately it comes with a lot of strings attached. And uh, and he said, he said, he said, F that, I'm not doing that business model because that's not you know sustainable he said because if that corporation gets mad at you and they cut you off you're done and i said that's that's a very smart of you to think about that because so you know what he decided to do was sell his product directly to consumers so that he would have customers that he could depend on as opposed to one or two corporate daddies you know a lot of people are just kind of unfortunately they think they're becoming entrepreneurs when really they're just looking for a better pimp and it doesn't mean that you can't take the sponsorship money it just means you have to be smart about it so anyway i told him i said i said brother i said the reason i know you're going to be fine and you have nothing to fear is because the way you answered that question earlier when you brought up that issue is you you answered it like a man like a man and i said you know some brothers out here and got don't have mental toughness they're cho they don't choose to have mental toughness i said but you show you you showed me mental toughness with the way you answered that question you showed me that you were two things you're a man and you've learned that you're a hunter you've learned how to hunt uh, and a hunter is someone that, uh, or, or an animal, they, we're all animals, right, that, that goes out in the woods and knows how to find the food. I said, uh, so when, when you're out, if you've been let out of the cage and you're in the wild and you're hunting for food, if you're a good hunter and you're hungry or you don't have any food anymore, you're going to go hunt and find more food. Uh, you're not, I said, but if you don't know how to hunt, you think about going back home, back to the cage where you were being fed every day. I said, but you're a hunter and hunters don't want to be back in the cage. Hunters will just hunt a, hunt a little harder uh, and change the game up a little bit and go find the food where it's at. Um, a domesticated house cat is not going to do that. Uh, he, the, you know, the cat or the dog is going to like go back home because that's the only place they know that they can eat. So the analogy is that corporate America is, is the cage, you know, and the entrepreneurship is the wild. So once you get out there and you learn how to hunt, then you will never go backward. And one of the things I told him also was I said, I said, look, freedom, being free, it's like choosing a, a marriage. I said, when you marry somebody, you don't marry them and say, and you don't, you don't, you don't join the relationship while you're thinking about your ex-girlfriend, wondering if you should go back every day, because then you're not going to be a very good boyfriend, husband, wife, or anything like that. Um, I said, you're choosing to be with this person uh, for better, for worse, through richer, rich, richer for poor, through sickness and in health, till death do you part. I said, so freedom is something that fits that analogy perfectly because when you choose to be free, you are marrying freedom. That means, um, you know, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, through sickness and health, till death do you part. So I encourage anybody listening to, uh, number one, know that you can choose freedom. 
Uh, you can't let people scare you into thinking that you can't. Number two, once you choose it, you choose that shit. You stay with it. You don't deviate. Don't waffle. Don't keep going back and forth wondering like, well, man, maybe I need to go back and work for them. No, you ain't got to go back and work for nobody. You just you just tighten your game up. You step it up. You find a community of other entrepreneurs to work with. Um, you know, and then third, um, it'll it'll be the, I, I believe it'll be the best decision of your life. Um, I know that with the five entrepreneurs I sat with. Every single one of them, I said, would you, would you guys ever consider going back to corporate America? And they said, oh, no, 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 no. I'm never, never going back. Never going back to work for other people. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I believe you can choose freedom. I believe you deserve freedom. I don't think you should be afraid of freedom. Some people are afraid of freedom because they're afraid of the responsibility that comes with freedom. They don't feel like they can handle it. And uh, and I believe that you really can't handle it. You just got to step your game up. All right, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from the Black Wealth Boot Camp. Uh, come, you know. If you ever want to join us in class, feel free. Until we meet again, stay strong, be blessed, and be educated. We are gone. Peace.